So I've, I don't know about you guys watching, but ever since I've transitioned, I've been, been doing some YouTube videos here and there. I've been getting some really strange friend requests from guys, from, from cis males. I, they happen to be gay, and they're writing me, and it's just, it's just bothering me a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to handle it besides blocking. So I'm going to read you this one particular guy. He gets on my YouTube, and uh, he makes remarks to where I can only see it on my phone and only comes up on my phone and notifications and then by the time I get in my YouTube video he's taken it down um but I didn't you know I didn't know when I started making YouTube videos or changed my Facebook that I was gonna get this kind of treatment and uh so anyway it's kind of weird so I, I'm gonna read you this one guy I'm not going to give you his last name because I don't want anybody, you know, bothering him. But, um, so I blocked him. This is what he wrote before I blocked him. But he makes, he'll go ahead and make an, a different Facebook account and then he'll write me again. And now I haven't gone to the police because he really hasn't said anything uh, too threatening. He's just... A, a big pest and I'm, I'm gonna read you this All right okay so this this is I'm gonna try to, his, his grammar isn't that great and he rams his words together when he writes so I'm gonna try to read it uh, like I did before to myself once and then I was like I, I don't understand it okay so he wrote uh, dear mr. King you don't know me from Adam but I have been following you on social media for the past past few months now. You intrigue me and strike up my curiosity immensely. So I thought I'd ask you a few questions if you don't mind. First of all, I am a natural born male. I am bisexual and consider myself handsome, lean, not to mention very well endowed. Ha ha, if you know what I mean. I have four brothers who nicknamed me Donch, which means extra large penis. So please call me Donch, okay, sir? I understand that you have many hobbies, according to your social media and YouTube, like swimming, sports, and playing guitar and singing love ballads. I really get a high on that. Since I really get a high on that, since I enjoy older music myself and play the banjo. You remind me a lot of the great Paul Williams in his younger years. He had long blonde hair, and he wrote great music for the Muppets like Kermit the Frog and the Carpenters, etc., etc., Please look him up, listen, and learn. Perhaps you can take a crack at one of his masterpieces. The Rainbow Connection is a favorite of mine. Anywho, I love your self your self effacing style. Self effacing style. Okay. Your modesty intrigues me to the point that I want to know you more. I'd really like to get to know you more. I love to travel, and I hope you do too, and I would love to talk to you sometimes. I had a dream. We met, and John Lennon was there in my dream playing matchmaker to couples who he thought were meant to hook up. Ha ha ha. I understand that you are a fan of his. So am I, and I am seeking someone as nice as you. And you being a transgendered man makes it all the better, since I would get the best of both worlds. Wow, he wrote. 
Wow. My friend, let's talk soon. We could talk about many interests we have in common. By the way, are you gay? Are you not? I'm shy, too. So it won't be a problem for both of us if we take things slow. Here are my phone numbers. I have a phone number for my home, my cell, and my work phone. I have a business and hate Ashbury, which is lovely in the fall. I do hope you will ring me up soon, Mr. King. I can pick you up. No problem. Just send me your address. Please send me your address in the email. I won't tell anybody what it is. You can call me Don if you want. But right now, just call me Don. P.S. You are a very cute hunter. And that, that was that one. It's not funny. It's, it's, it's stupid. It's crazy. It's, it's like... I don't understand. What? Okay, so I'm going to try to dissect this a little bit. Because first of all, he says... He, he realizes that I don't know him. And I don't. And I haven't written him back. Because I don't want to egg him on. And if... He's watching, if you're watching right now, dude, I'm just not interested because you wrote things that I find um, intrusive. I, I just find um, disgusting because I don't really care about your lower extremities. I don't care about your penis. I don't know you. And I don't want you coming here. Uh, if you come near me, I will, I will do something about it. I will. I have nine one one on speed dial. Plus, I have a couple guns, which are legal, and I'm not afraid to use them. So, just stay away from me and stay off the property. But the fact that he wrote he was a natural born male, I, I who cares? And like he's a bad, like what's that mean? That he's naturally born male. I mean, is he trying to insult me? Um, he's saying he's bisexual. He considers himself handsome. And well endowed. Well, good for you. Uh, you can take that dick somewhere else and, you know, follow somebody else. Um, he has four brothers who nicknamed him Donch, which means he has an extra large penis. So that made me wonder, how would his brothers know? I mean, does he walk around erect or something? I mean, how, how, how would they know how big his penis is? And why would they call him that? Are they, are they all perverts or something? Then he says he understands that I have many hobbies, according to my social media and YouTube, um, like swimming. But the thing is, I don't... I never wrote or said on YouTube, I never wrote it on my social media anywhere that, I, that I'm that i a swimmer. I am, a, I do swim. I like swimming, but I'm not, like, I, it's, not a ho it's not a hobby, put it that way. So I don't know where he got that. And sports, yeah, I do like sports. And playing guitar and singing love ballads. Well, I do like playing the guitar, <clears throat> like I fiddle around with it. And I do like singing, but I don't recall singing love ballads. And I've only sung a few songs on YouTube, which I don't, I don't even have a, a microphone. I just had to plug the guitar into the board. And it's like, it's, I, I, just don't, I don't know where he's getting this, that, that he gets a high off of it. Uh, and he plays the banjo. Okay, good. That's great. I'm glad you, I'm glad you picked up a hobby too, and, and you and you're musically talented. So he's musically talented. Um, he enjoys older music himself. I don't like where he says that I remind him a lot of Paul Williams. Have you guys ever seen Paul Williams? 
I, I had to. I, I can hardly remember Paul Williams. Like, like how old is Paul Williams? Let's um, <clears throat> and singing. Oh, he wants me to take a crack of singing, the Rainbow Connection. That that's Kermit the Frog, freaking sings, the Rainbow Connection on the Muppets. I have heard that song, <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, do I, do I sound like? Kermit the Frog. I mean, give me a break. This is a, this is. Is he trying to insult me? Because first I thought, oh, this is a joke, but this guy is serious. Because on his Facebook, it showed that he was gay and married to a man. And I don't understand. He's married to a man, and he's hitting on me. I mean, that's what it sounds like. And no, he's not coming here picking me up. And why is he saying he's going to get the best of both worlds? Because I'm a transgendered man. What does that mean? I mean, if, if you guys can figure that one out, please leave it in the comments below. Because I'm thinking... That's the both where I'm, uh, Maybe I shouldn't even try to figure him out. He could just, he could just be uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I, I, what does he mean, uh, best of both worlds? The vagina and... Uh, what's he talking about? And he's called me his friend. My friend, let's talk soon. Are you gay or not? Well, that's not his business. I mean, I'm not... I, I'm... Then he says, I'm shy too, like he knows I'm shy. And it won't be a problem if we take things slow, as if we are going to get together and take things slow. I've never even talked to this guy. I've never even answered him before. Much less take things slow. He can take, I'll take things fast, like get him, get him fast out of here, get him the hell out of here, fast. And then he's giving me all his phone numbers. I'm not calling him because even if I block my number, he'll probably find a way to, I mean, I would, the only reason I would call him is to tell him off. I do hope you will ring me up soon, Mr. King. I can pick you up. Now that part makes it sound like, oh, he's going to be at the door any second now. That's kind of scary. It's not even funny. And why in the hell would I call him Donch? Because his brothers do? Is that how his friends greet him? Hey, Donch, hey, Mr. Big Penis. What the... This guy could could be a psycho. Could be a psycho. Um, I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> Google... Paul Williams. Oh my God, it's photo just showed up. Did it just show up? Oh, that's a different guy. This is a different guy. He's in the military. And he's been on my Facebook writing me too. But he doesn't write. It's not real crazy what he writes. Oh, okay. He just wrote, hello, how are you doing? And this is a different guy. And, and he's, you can tell he's a cis male. I can tell. I don't know if you guys think that's insulting to trans males, but I mean most of the time. Okay, there's a few that might surprise me. This is a different guy. He's got a bald head. Okay, sorry, he could be watching me right now. This one, this one's sweet. I okay, forget it. But the other one is just, I don't know. See, I have, I have two Facebooks. And my original Facebook, uh, I, I, I have it up, but I don't go on it. I mean, it's still up. I didn't take it down because I have my, my relatives on there. Um, and so in case I want to contact them, or some, I don't know why I didn't take it down. So I made a new Facebook, and I really don't have that many people on there, and I haven't had it that long. I've only been using that since my transition, um, but I don't have any info on there like that I swim or uh, nothing like that. I don't even have that I'm transgendered. So he's found me um, through YouTube. So you guys be careful on your YouTube. If you've had any weirdos on your YouTube, let me know in the comments below if they found you in other areas because that's called stalking. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to try to get this guy off. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm so close. It's just that 
my microphone kind of sucks, so I have to sit close. So you can hear me. Try to talk louder and sing louder, and all that's kind of a pain. Okay, so I'm going to, um, he wants me to sing Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog. Let's, let me see what that sounds like. Okay, I don't even remember that song. It sounds familiar. Okay, Google, YouTube, Rainbow Connection, Kermit the Frog. It's crazy. It's like, I feel like I just went into the nut house and found this guy. Or he found me. Kermit the Frog. Okay, there's Kermit the Frog. Okay, there's several versions of it. <laughs> okay, it's time. Uh, let's see how, let's see how this sounds. I don't think I'm going to be singing it. Dear Road Rivals, Sorry we had to leave you in the dust, but we have to keep up with being named Best O... There's the Muppets. My heart. Okay, that, that already was annoying me. I'm gonna try it again. I sound like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, or I should sing it, and I don't know why. So let's, I guess because this Paul Williams is a genius, and so is Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. So let's uh, Google Paul Williams. Okay, Google, who is Paul Williams Images? Yeah, he's, he's a real cutie. Um, boy. Let's see if I can get a photo brought up of him. Um, he thinks I look like this guy. Oh, that's... that's, that's okay, cause so he's kind of cute, but he's... Um, Paul Williams is 5 foot 2. And he's in the... The Hall of Fame. And he's won many Grammys. Okay, so yeah, I have heard of him. Couldn't remember what he looked like. Um, he looks really, really, really strange, like a, a hobbit or something. I don't know if you can see this. That's okay. Oh. Please don't tell me I look like that. Okay, I can't get a good view of him. <laughs> what this guy thinks I look like this guy? Why? I mean, if you're going to tell somebody they look like a a well-known celebrity, don't tell them they look like somebody like that's, that's not that attractive. Um, so, yeah, that's... I'm going to put this down. So, yeah, you guys, um... Just, I don't know about doing YouTube because I don't want to attract... Weird people like that. I mean, most everybody's been pretty cool so far. I'm, I'm gonna get some some strange people once in a while, but that's this guy is too much. And it's okay if you want to friend request me on on my Facebook as long as you don't write. Talk, tell me about your genitals and that you're gonna be picking me up soon. 
I mean, you know, get to know me first. If you got to, that's just not the way you approach somebody. And I just, if he, if he writes me again, I'm, I'm going to have to go to the authorities. Because like, I heard a, a loud noise this morning and it made me jump out of my, my skin like, like my ghost came out of my body or something. Because somewhere in my subconscious I probably think it's him banging on my window or the door or something. But it was a snow falling off the tree you know, under the roof. There's a snow starting to smelt, uh, melt a little bit. And uh, some of the snow um, gets pretty heavy. And icicles and all that. And I don't want to be jumpy or anxious because somebody won't leave me alone. I didn't do anything to attract them. I don't, I don't believe that I did. And I have, you know, maybe I'm overthinking it. Because I, I had to think, well, what did I say or do to make this guy think that, I, you know, I'm, you know, trans guys are that sexual that they'll just go with anybody. But... You know, or it's the best, they're going to be getting the best of both worlds, or, I don't know. I did, um, a long time ago, though, it was a long time ago, I saw a trans a younger guy, I think he was like 20 or something like that, I don't know. And uh, he said that he had a stalker that, um, actually had a tattoo of him, of the trans of the trans guy, put on his leg and he sent it to him and he thought it was funny. Um, but that's, that's, he's young too, so I mean, I can, maybe I can see why somebody might go out after him, which is wrong, I mean, that sounded like the guy was crazy too. But I never thought about, like, that I would get anybody real crazy or weird like that. And God helps God help me if he starts to uh, tattoo himself of me. <laughs> okay, that that I might show. That I might show. <sighs> Anything else? Um, no, I wasn't going to do a video for a while because I've been depressed. And uh, I just got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, financially, so I can't get my top surgery. I was going to... Almost there. You know, I was almost there getting ready to get enough money to get my top surgery but um my truck froze over literally it's frozen it's just one big it's one big freezer right now so um i tried to start it a second time and it um and just it just won't start so i have to wait till the thaw comes and then once it's thawed out then um I think it something broke in it, which I did say before. But I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking the way I'm worrying. I shouldn't worry. Uh, but it's probably not going to be cheap. And it might be in the thousands. So, um, once again, my top surgery has been postponed. And then I need to get to the doctor so they can draw blood so I can be tested for my testosterone and I only have one shot left I mean it's probably it could be everything at once that's making me depressed or it could just be one thing like my testosterone you know I got one shot left and um, I even took a little bit less last week which I didn't like doing so that I could have a little more left over for my next shot as well I'm trying to preserve that, but it's not going to last very much longer. Um, I'm going to have to take a bus. Which, they don't really have buses around here. I didn't think they did. I've never seen a bus. And then I, I called up the hospital, and they, they gave me a number for some transportation. So, I'm going to be riding a bus around for a while. <laughs> with my mask on. That should be a lot of fun. Um... And then I'll be able to get some blood drawn. I think I'm worried too. I'm concerned. I don't really like to say the word worry. Because my mother. She passed away. And she was. You know they say you can die from worry. And my mother actually did. She was worried about my, my brother being in the military. And uh, it 
it literally killed her. Just the stress alone. And I could have inherited a lot of the anxiousness from her. And so I have to be a little more careful than she was and try not to worry about things. Because, you know, like they say, worry doesn't really help anyway. Uh, it just makes things worse. So maybe I'll try to be more optimistic uh, with finances. Um, and just and just make and just kind of have to wait things out. I'd be thankful for the things that I do have, but I don't need this guy uh, just stressing me out. And I will have to go to the authorities and have him stop and have them do something. I don't know what they're going to do or what they would do. Um, but I do have phone numbers, so I can have the cops give him a call and, and let him know. That should do it. If he if he writes me again, I will. I will. Because I did have a problem with the person before I transitioned. And uh, it was a guy who liked me. I didn't like him. I wasn't interested in him. Um, but his daughter and his, his son and his daughter found out about me. And they thought that we were having an affair and we weren't. He was just, I don't know, he was just hanging around me a lot. And, um, we would go to the movies and just hang out as friends, but his son and his daughter, they're gothic and they got the wrong idea. And so they started sending me death threats and I didn't like that at all. So I told the guy to um, tell his kids, though they were in their 20s, to tell, to tell his kids to, uh, to leave me alone and he, he didn't want to because he was always afraid his kids wouldn't like him anymore and disown him if he just told them off. You know? And he wouldn't be stern with them. So I said, you, you don't leave me any choice. You don't you leave me no choice. I'm going to have to call the authorities. So I did. And then the cops, um, they came over and then they, they said that they were going to send cops in his district, their district, uh, to put a stop to it. And they did. And I will with this guy too, but the thing is, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm associated with this guy, whatsoever. Except for he's seen me on YouTube and he's been on my Facebook, and I don't have any other social media. Oh yeah, I have Twitter. I'm letting you all know I have Twitter. I have Twitter, which is annoying, because as soon as I joined up for. Twitter, it asks you to uh, sign up to follow certain people, certain celebrities, which I'm really getting sick of celebrities, by the way. So, you know, I, I, I hit follow to a few people, and, you know, every, every day they're posting. Like, I'm supposed to jump up and go, wow, they're great. Like Jim Carrey, and I have met Jim Carrey. That's why I followed him, because I used to work with Jim Carrey on, on the set of the show called In, In Living Color. And I was a stage manager there, but I don't even I don't even write him, and I don't say, "Hey, remember me? I was stage manager." For one thing, I'm I'm transgender now, so I'm not going to tell him that. I'm not going to say, "Hey, remember me? I was such and such." Now I'm this. Now I'm now I'm Hunter. I'm just not. He won't care because I know he won't care. I do know him well enough to know he's not going he's not going to care. <clears throat> but he's he's posting once or twice a day. He's, he's so bored with his career not really going anywhere right now and um he's, i guess he's in quarantine so he's he's painting a lot he's an artist and um he's constantly posting like like look what i drew and look what i painted and some of it's really nice it's really cool but i'm just getting tired of that and justin bieber i don't know why the hell i followed him justin bieber um oh well I know one of his relatives, uh, so I, I think maybe that's why I hit follow with Justin Bieber. But he's he's too much too. He's too much. He's not as bad as Jim Carrey though. And uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds, I'm gonna unfollow him because because I'll be doing something on my phone and it, it, he constantly interrupts it by his tweets. So yeah, I'm gonna start unfollowing people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna go, but like I said, if you have any trouble with anybody, I mean, you gotta be careful what you say, 
on your YouTube, there are kids watching. I always put a uh, filter, the filter on my YouTube, this video is not made for kids. But, you know, that's when kids like to watch it. They like to watch the ones where it says, you know, oh, I, ooh, I have to be 18. That's all they have to do is um, click on that and say that they're over 18. And I do know kids watch uh, transgenders. Transgenders? Transgenders. Kids watch us. I do know that for a fact. And uh, they'll say things like, oh, I'm only 12. And my mom won't let me go on hormones or, or 12. I've seen as young as 12. And I'm sure there's younger. Because I play video games. Uh, once in a while, not, not much, but you know, once in a while, and there's a lot of kids that shouldn't be on there, and they're, they'll, they'll say they're 18 just to get on there, and they'll come out and say stuff like, they're 7, that's the youngest I've seen, or hey, I'm 7, or I, they'll say they're 7, 9, uh, and it's if they can do that, you know they're getting on YouTube, and some trans guys are just saying too much, I, I, including myself, I have showing some things I probably shouldn't have because kids do watch and it is important what you say to kids and uh, I know I've been a kid before and we're all curious so watch what you say oh and there's a couple of uh, trans youtubers that they do porn which that's their thing but I'm not going to watch you guys because and how do I know you do porn well, I wanted to know what um, lower um, bottom growth, what bottom growth looked like. I didn't know, and this was way before I had bottom growth, and I couldn't find it. No matter what I googled, no matter what, it's not going to show you. Not even a drawing. I couldn't even find a drawing. So I thought, hey, I'll go on a porn site and, and type in, <laughs> it, it type in um, transgendered males and. Well, I saw it, yeah, I saw what it looked like, and uh, I saw, recently I've seen a couple YouTubers that were in the porn. I'm like, oh, there's that guy, uh, there's that guy that was in, he's a, in the porn. No one claims to be a porn star, I'm not going to say his name. Well, I don't like him, and I don't know him personally, but I don't like what he's saying to kids. Because he's showing a lot of... <clears throat> Things that I, I find perverted, I find disgusting. And then telling people that he does porn. Uh, I just clicked and I saw his face. And, and he's having sex with um, males in drag. And he's a transgender male. And I don't. I, I just saw like on the right side of the screen. And I, mm -mm. I I'm 100% sure it was him. 100%. Uh and I'm not going to watch it. I didn't watch it. I'm not going to watch it. And uh, and then I have seen his YouTube uh, channel and he's talking to kids, saying, saying kids, hey kids, hey kids. He constantly says, hey kids, look at this. Hey kids. Hey kids, this is how you masturbate. Hey kids. And, and you know what? I don't know why people like that are, they should be banned. They should be banned. Because that's disgusting. And kids shouldn't be taught things like that. Anyway, that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. I'm going to go and try to have a better night. You guys, uh, stay safe. Okay, stay safe. Watch what you say on YouTube. Hunter out.